Um, everybody, all right, we're going live. You're gonna switch off the games. Listen, your parents could see that you're playing game and not paying attention with that camera in the back there, and they're complaining. So, we are about to go live on the Zoom. Allowing your, your parents to join, we are already live on YouTube, all right, guys. So don't let me be too disappointed with your behavior. Okay? All right. Oh, I'm going to be Hey, back to school is this? This is what you do. I don't know what to do here, actually. So we have to go to our work. We have to go to our work still. Recording in progress. Yeah. Well, I can't get my work. I still want you to do it. I don't know. 
All right, guys. So as customary, right, your parents are now on the Zoom. They can see your computer screen. All right, they can see if you're all paying attention. You can see if you're all doing the lesson. All right. And this is recorded permanently. So you don't want to leave that permanent history about your behavior. Okay. You all have to be on your best behavior. We, we, we talk that talk on the first day when we went live. Okay. Yes. All right. So, you know, as customary, we do a quick review and then we do a deep dive into what we were doing yesterday. All right. So you all remember you all write the code yesterday and we use ASCII, right, in order to code our numbers. And then we said, who could put in ASCII the name, right, in HTML. And two or three students were able to do that, right? Were you able to do that? All right, so we're going to be looking back at that this morning, all right? And before we even start, uh, we're going to do our customary quick recap. All right, I'm just gonna be sharing the uh, screen as well so that the audience could see, All right? And they'll be able to see over. Let's see if it works. Yes, it works. All right. Let's see if I could share this projector screen. So let's share the projector screen. No, not that one. This one. Screen number two. Yeah. All right, so the Zoom people should be able to see uh, the PowerPoint as well. All right, guys? So, what's happening? No, you need to load that up as yet. We, we on the board still. All right, so, guys, you know, the first week of the camp, not everybody was here for the first week. All right, we did computer hardware. Right, guys? That's what we're doing. We, we define what a computer is, and we discover that even the cell phones are computers. Right? Mm -hmm. Did you all remember that? That your cell phone is a computer? Yeah. Why? Because it obeys this definition of a computer, right? Yeah. It offers input, output processing, and storage. We talk about the first generation of computers being so large as to occupy an entire room. Oh. Right? And then improvements cause it to, to, to get smaller about the size of a table and then we have the third generation of computers which is the integrated circuit machines right these machines could, could comfortably fit on top of a table right yeah they start to resemble the desktop form factor and the laptop form factor that we know and love today then we have the fourth generation of computers which all have these microprocessor chip inside of them there's many different flavors and variants right we're using these computers we have today to build AI, right? Which is the fifth generation of computers, artificial intelligence machines, right? We talk about all these different varieties. You all have, I know about the tablets, right? You all have tablets at home, right? Even more important, importantly is the microcontrollers, right? You can see the microcontrollers. These microcomputers give you access to the internals of the computer. Right, so you can expand this functionality and do things that is not, not exactly uh, able to do, right, with a traditional computer just having access to the ports alone, right? So we talk about also embedded computers, right? Everybody recall that even a car engine requires a computer to work, right? So all the time, nobody took the liberty to explain that to you guys, no. right? The engine don't work unless... This computer is there to run it. Okay. All right. We talk about microcontrollers and the importance. We say that there is satellites that is built entirely on these things. All right. There's a rover, I believe, in Mars or on the moon. It's built using entirely a Raspberry Pi, right? Which is a very small, small device in the top left hand corner of the screen here. Right. Guys, we talk about different flavors of the personal computers that we love, that we enjoy today. We also talk about mainframe computers, how they power large businesses for doing uh, a lot of transactions, right? For instance, Caribbean Airlines, right? We talk about, right? We talk about Caribbean Airlines, okay? 
So we could go and we could purchase a ticket right now. We don't have to drive up there to get a ticket anymore, right? Good to see these computers, all right? Mainframe computers, they also power the operations of the bank as well, right? Then we talk about the world's fastest computer. Is that fastest computer is called a supercomputer, right? You'll see it there. It's called the Summit, right? As of last year, this computer was the fastest computer in the world. I'm not sure if it still is and if it still holds the Guinness Book of Records, but you can see it there. It could do 200,000 trillion calculations per second. All right, and it costs a whopping two hundred million US dollars for this computer. All right, we talk about computer hardware, right? We look at all these things, right? You, you guys remember the socket, the processor, right? You remember all that? You remember the power connector? You remember the I/O, all the different I/O ports that you all have to learn? How about the RAM? The slots for the RAM chip, right? IDE. Some of these motherboards will have SATA, the ones that we look at that we pull them will have SATA connections, right? We talk about the CMOS, we talk about the PCI expansion slots. Right, guys, you remember all that? Yeah? We went further into it. And we took out the peripheral devices out of these devices, right? You all understand that the keyboard, the speaker system, the printer, scanner, and the mouse and so on are all peripheral devices because they require these cables, right, that connect them to the motherboard. Okay? And those cables, in some time, in some, some instances, they are wireless, like for instance, the wireless mouse and keyboard we have here. So those cables, right, and media for communication are called peripherals, right? Because they allow the device, the peripheral device, to connect to the main unit, right? So guys, we talk about all the ports. Did you all do went home and take a look at all the ports and the names of them? And we talk about some important ports. Anyone can give them one port, identify a port from them. USB. USB. Alright. HDMI. HDMI. My port. It's a USB as well. My port. USB. USB have different types. Alright, so you all could say USB C. So USB C is like what the phones charge with today, right? The other other USB. Huh? You want to the other Ethernet. You want to the Ethernet, right? Very good. So this is the Ethernet here, right? Also called the LAN. All right, guys. So we talk about computer repair, right? So once you all understand the hardware, right? We can go inside of it. Uh, we can disconnect all the peripheral devices. We can do basic checks to make sure that the board is working. Check to see if it is posted, right? We could disassemble. We could take all the parts from inside of the tower, and we could assemble it on our desktop, right? Well, on our tabletop. And we could test to see whatever is wrong with it, right? And if we identify that some component is bad, all you have to do is to purchase that part and stick it back inside of here. And voila, it works. All right? Then we talk about upgrading the performance because we have a lot of old computers around, right? So remember, we could get a faster processor. We could get faster and more RAM, right? We could get a bigger hard drive that is also faster as well, right, guys? You remember these things? Very, very important. To note when upgrading a computer. How about the monitor? What's the performance parameters of the, mo the monitor? Right, the resolution of the monitor, very good. Yeah, the resolution of the monitor, right? Um, Basically, how much pixels the monitor has to light up to produce the image. The more pixels, is the more information can be contained. The that you see on the screen. 1080 by something. Right, so it's 1080p you're talking about. Right, so, so that's standard definition. Even above that, we get the 4K and 8K and right? all these amazing things, right? Now, our next important parameter for the performance of the monitor is the refresh rate. Remember, we talked about that last class, right? We want to make sure that the pixels could change at a high frequency, right? So that the information coming to the screen is not coming faster than it's able to produce the image for us. All right, then we said that when we finish building the computer from scratch, we order all the parts we need. You all remember the parts? We have to get? Hmm? Cool. Yeah, we have, we have to get the, the, the cores are part of it. It's called the processor. We have to get the processor, we have to get the motherboard, we have to also get the hard drive, the power supply. Very good. Right? The enclosure, which is called the tower, we have to get the cooling system for the processor. Very good. Right? 
What does he have to get? He have to get monitor, keyboard, speaker system. You remember that? I don't need that headset exactly for the intended purpose of that machine. Right? Because we bought a, a, a stereo system and we're going to plug into it, right? So the company is going to have its own dedicated speakers, right? We don't just plug our headset in it. Right? You remember, guys? So after we, we order all this, those parts and we build the whole thing from scratch and we put it in and we power it on, guess what? We can't exactly use it like as yet. It's going to come on with a black screen, right? That, that process is called posting. We're going to be able to interact with the BIOS and so on. But guess what? We don't have the software on it yet. So the next step was to install the software, right? And the most important piece of software in the computer is called the operating system. Mm -hmm. You guys would have named some operating systems before. Yeah? Anyone remember the operating system that you all name and talk about? Me. You want an operating system? Android. Android. Right? You have Android on your tablet? Right. Yes, I do. Oh, Give us uh, iOS. Very good. iOS. So, well, it's not an operating system. Windows is in front of you. Windows. 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 Very good. Or Mac. Or Mac, right? So Mac is on that side. And PC is just the developer. All right, guys. Now there's many other operating systems that you guys not exposed to. For instance, on those microcomputers, right, there's an operating system which is called Raspbian. Right? There's other variants of Windows too, like Windows RT or Windows IO. Right? Uh, there is also Linux, many other variants of Linux operating system, Ubuntu, Fedora, right guys? Red Hat, you're going to learn about these things, right, as you, are, as you all mature in the computing environment, right? Hello. Right, so we say the, the process of installing the operating system, right? Traditionally, we put that disk in the computer, right? When we put that disk in the computer, this comes up. And these dialog boxes, we follow them and it guides us through the process of installing the operating system. And what is the operating system really? It's a software, right? Yes. And we see a software, right? Is what? Is the is a state of the hard drive, right? Basically, hard drive stores ones and zeros like this. And those ones and zeros is the is the information, right? To load the operating system and do everything on the system. Sorry, what's the voice? So I'm gonna have to switch this off quickly. Okay, so back at it. So remember what we were saying, right? Mm -hmm. That is ones and zeros. And ones and zeros is actually information. Right? So this information is stored on the hard drive, right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And we actually describe how the hard drive works. Yeah? We describe how the processor works. Right, guys? You all remember that? The processor is the most important component on the board, right? We look into the architecture of it, right? This important would come up about the core. So we have single core, right? Dual core, quad core, hexa core, octa core, and so on. It goes up to what? It's 48 processors that you all saw. And AMD chip had 48 processors, there, guys. Yeah? We describe what is inside the processor. Each of those cores in the processor will all have the control unit, arithmetic and logic unit, and the registers, right? And we were saying that. It works very simple. The processor, right, fetches fetches the ones and zeros, right, the information from the hard drive, guys, right, and then the, that information comes into the RAM, right. That is the process of loading the program. Once it is there, right, some of those a segment of that goes into the registers, those ones and zeros. And then now the ALU is responsible for doing some number crunching and it generates the necessary 
output signals that go to the output devices, right? And it lights up the screen to produce exactly that image that we see. So anything you do on the computer, right? This is what is happening. You move the mouse. The mouse is sending electrical signals, right? The processor is acting on those electrical signals. And it's updating the position of the mouse on the screen. So the mouse could be here now. When you move the mouse like this, just the act of moving like this, information is being processed by the processor, and the mouse is updating location. So every time you move, the mouse is moving. Yeah? So anything you do, that's what is happening, right? Because there's this constant real-time communication between the mouse right, and the screen. So when you move the mouse, you see the position of the, the cursor being updated on the screen. Right, so we moved into what I consider the most important week of the camp. Right? This is when you all learn that any problem, right, can be solved traditionally by a computer. When you all get to university, right, you all might eventually discover that there might be problems that can be considered not solvable by a computer, right? But for the most part, right, almost all real world problems. You could solve them using a computer, okay? So, you were introduced to the alphabet of ones and zeros. So, right? Five. ASCII. Five. Five. You remember ASCII, guys? Yes. 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 Set up this thing. Just I remember ASCII. Because ASCII is the prettiest of the ones. So, yeah, I want that to go with. You want this ASCII thing to go with? Yes. You can take a picture of it then. I don't even have a phone though, that's all. All right, that's okay. So, 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 so guys, you all remember, we yeah. set up our thing yesterday. I guys, you all remember, we set up our thing yesterday, yeah. right? And we use the HTML code for each of these characters, right? And we have the numbers and so on. And we were able to write, right, anything that we were doing in HTML, right? You all remember that? We wrote one, two, three, four, five. Right? And that's how we all write your name. All right? So we just want to quickly demonstrate the importance of that exercise that you all did yesterday, right? Okay? So when you go on the website, when you go on, when you go on YouTube and so on, right? You're going to interact with a lot of information on the website. Right? This is how the encoding is done. Guys, remember, what does the A mean? American. American. Standard. Standard. Right. Code. Code. Right. Standard. And this is for information, information. interchange. American right. Standard ASCII. Code for information. Very good. All right. So check out this even more. Most hot. This is really, really hot. You all ever seen the rainbow? No. Yes. yes. You all ever seen the rainbow? Yes. This is what you do. I see the rainbow. It is actually white light, right? Separating into its different components. So you want to take a look at this. The white light coming in and what coming out? The rainbow colors. You see it? Yes. So what is really happening is the white light is actually a, a conglomerate of all these different colors you see, you know. Yeah, but it takes a prism. Right, the optical structure of this glass block or whatever they're using mm -hmm. is able now, right, to separate it into its components. So you can see the actual components that make up the white. Check it out, guys. Look at that. This red circle here, right, and this green circle here, and this blue circle here, right in the center. This is this is where the blue and the green overlap. You see that, guys? So you have sand, right? Yeah. And this little portion here is where the blue and the red overlap, and you get magenta. Yeah? Magenta. And then this little portion here is where the, the green and the red overlap, and we get yellow. In the center now is where the, the three green, red, and blue overlap all together, and they give us the white. You see it? So white, the white you see here, consists of what? Equal portions of green, red, and blue. And it's possible to separate them. And this separation is what gives you the rainbow. Now, in the atmosphere, it's a really technical thing that is happening, right? Because we have moisture in the atmosphere and so on. Right? And this moisture forms a film. 
So any light coming down from the sun, yeah, that film now basically doing the same thing that this this prism is doing and creating the rainbow for us. Yeah, you'll get to see the rainbow like that. Hey, we could actually code this now for ourselves. You ready? Yeah. Too hard. It's not going to be. Let's try this. Pause that thing. We can. Take it up. Close it up. Close it up. No, 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 no. Deep. Not. Close it up. All right. <clears throat> so, as I was saying, with what we had yesterday, it's simple now to code this thing. You ready? That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to code where we combine the green and the red and get yellow. You will not combine the green and blue and get sand. You will not combine the red and the blue and get magenta. Right? It's called RGB color space. This is known as the physics color wheel. Right? In color science, when, when, they, when, the, when the artist doing the painting and so on, right? He using one of these two color sciences. He's either using the additive color wheel or the subtractive color wheel. All right? But for now, you all, I'm introducing you all to the, the additive one, right? Okay? So we're going to do this on a web page, right? Exactly as we did it yesterday. You all remember what was the process? Yes. You sure you all remember the process? I know you're going to do it. The process is something like a song. All right, guys. So remember, it's a simple process. We just click start button. And we we go for we look for notepad. Everybody's supposed to be able to load up a notepad here. Let's not wait for ten seconds. All right, I'm gonna drag it across on the screen there so that you all could see it. Right? That is the notepad. Right? It's not that fast. I don't want it to be so big. I'll, I'll have it here like that. All right. So guys. Right. So once you all load up notepad like that, right? Uh, sir? Hey, go ahead. Uh, I must say that is a little too much. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hmm? Yeah, not all seven year olds behave the same. Man. I know that. I'm a customer yeah. younger than her. Really? Yeah. All right, guys. So, so check this out, right? This is all we need to type. Right? To explore, right? The, the, the physics color wheel, right? So, you all remember. Uh, from yesterday, we would have had doc type HTML here. Doc type HTML. All right, so I'm going to put that in all caps. Yeah, everybody had to type it over, right? Right, and then after we type this first thing, everybody tell me when you all type that. All right, then we're going to have the title tag. So remember the title tag. We have the less than and greater than sign and closing the word title. Right? You can put the title. Test the color spectrum. Right? And then now we close the title tag because we have the less than sign, then we have the what we call a forward slash, then we have the word title, and then we have the greater than sign. Right? So these are called tags. So we have the title tag, then we have a style tag. You can see the style tag there where we could actually style the background based on the RGB color space. And um, yeah, when we have body and so on, right? So every web page must have this HTML structure. You all learn it before, right? But you all didn't learn it to design web pages. You all were learning it so that we could appreciate us. Yeah? Ready? So everybody's supposed to be typing this thing on the screen.
All right, so I'm going to be going on our own. Oh, She's not going to be able to do this. Yeah. You can't see what for me? Um, so I think it's 16 years old. I'm going to try this. How about now? Same time, see? No? I don't know how to move here. I don't know So if you're not accessing, right? Certain characters on the keyboard. Oh, somebody said you finished already. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's not very good. Very good. That was yesterday. And then that's the end of the day. Do you want to do it? I didn't have a little
She doesn't know what to do. She does know what to do. I'm going to come. I'm going to stay in the store. So, what are you doing? 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 I'm set. Set. Right, the do is one. Check and test. Oh God, I do. Test. Test. T. Right, you can see the T one then. E S. E S. T. Very good. Put that space on. Space bar. Press the space bar. Very good. So you can see the space one then, right? So you type color now. C O C O L O O U R right and then you that space and you have spectrum S T G C T R and that's the first first time you have it right let's yeah. mm. sky body Style yeah, we didn't exactly need And then the yeah. other one, the background color. We're going to leave it, right? Okay. Now we're going to put in this style. So let's open this style top. This is right? Right? Close this style top. Like that. Like this. And then side here, we need to put in uh, This is my mouse. This is my nose. That's what it was. This week. Alright. So you can do it. Alright, so guys, in in um in the body we have a P tag. P tag? What is that? Alright, you already see the P there. And we have high chemistry. That's supposed oh, yes. to be high physics color wheel. Right? Because you learn you all learn the physics color wheel in physics class. Okay? And you all get it. Watch it. Watch it, you think? Right. Look at here, guys. So you see this P tag we have here? Yes, I put We have high chemistry, it's supposed to be high. Oh my god. I just put that there. High physics color wheel, right? That's I don't know what to do. I put this to Do my So, style. Do not interfere with something. Very nice. That's the time. That's the key. But you can't find me. Huh? But you can't find me. It's a paragraph. So what is it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Then save it to the PC. Hey, Yeah, that that's not that's not that's not. Right? 
Ay, binan niya kami. 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 Physics. Yeah, high school. Right? Yeah, I get high school. You get what? High school. Yeah. 
physics. Guys, we changing it to physics, right? And I'm gonna write it on the board. Ready? Hi, physics. Hello, wheel. That's it. Right, so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. I'm gonna do it on the board, guys. You will be able to see it, right? Is it P H Y S I C? Yeah, hold on. Just a minute. All right, so right here. All right, remember, we need high physics color wheel. That's what it, that's what it looks like. All right, so guys, remember, we have to save now. We go in the top left hand corner. And we click save as. This is a very important step. Go back across. Go back across. Is your on the right, and we, we need to select so here and go down to, to all files. Right, on the desktop, guys, is where we want to keep store this thing. Yeah, we want to save this thing on the desktop, and we're gonna call it color wheel, right? What, yeah, uh, call it color wheel, or you all could call it whatever you like, right? No, don't forget this part dot for the dot HTML because right, we need to open it with the browser. Right, the browser is also gonna decode this information and produce uh, the graphic on the screen that we need to see. All right. All right. So guys, once we save that thing, right, on the desktop now, on the desktop, before we had the desktop here, right? Uh, I'm going to my file explorer. That I will see on this side. Actually, it's not showing very. Okay. That's really good now. All right. So, guys, remember we go into our file explorer, right? Again. Yeah, 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 we gotta go to the file explorer. No. So let me um, let me exit. Let me exit. Uh, what we was doing there, so that we, you all could see the file explorer. Right. So I'm gonna drag the file explorer across for you guys to see it. Just now, just now. This is the file explorer. This is what the file explorer looks like, right? So you click desktop here and you'll see yep. color wheel there. So we're gonna double click on color wheel, right? Yep. Only so, double click on it, it's gonna open. So okay. oh, I get it. All right, so it opened there just now. All right, but you all cannot see it so just yet. So cold. Yes, sir, you can see it. Just now, guys. So, so cold. Hide. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Check it out. So this is what it looks like, right? So we're gonna close the explorer, and we're gonna have these two things side by side. Check it out. Let's set up these two things side by side. This is no, I already did that for you. Do not stop interfering with it. Exactly how I, I set it for you is what you need to be able to follow. So why is white? Huh? Why is white? Because his own don't have the the color that. We have here. We have zero two five five two five five. Yes, do have that. Check it out. No, I don't feel it. Right. It's too cool. It's too cool. Yes, too cool. That's not. I'm not too sad. Come on, Carol. Let's see. Oh no, sir. That's okay, that's pretty simple, right? Like you press on my finger. Alright, let's check out to see what's going on. Stand, stand, RGB. RGB? Alright, so that's why. It needs to be so quiet. That's why, right? So that's good. All right, guys. So, you all ready? What are we doing next? Check out what we do next. You all ready? So, remember, it's what? R, G, B. The R is red, the G is green, and the B is blue. 
Wow. All right, guys, so if you want to check it out, right, I'm moving the cursor. So the R is, is red, the G is green, and the B is blue. So this first slot is for the R, right? The R comes first. So that's the red position. This second slot is for the green. And this third slot is for the blue. So what this is saying is that we have maximum green and maximum blue combining. When green and blue combine, we get what? Cyan, you remember that? Yes. When green and blue come, we get sand. Right? You all remember what if we combine red and green? Yeah. So what we're going to do now, we're going to change this here from maximum. So the, the, the lowest value is zero, and the maximum value is 255, right? So we put in the lowest value. Right? So we don't, we, we're we not putting any blue in it. We can't see all the blue. So this would mean what? Only green alone, right? You all seeing that? You all make that change. So only green, we have, we put in maximum green in it. We have zero red, zero blue. You all seeing that? Yes, sir, I do. And remember, we, we coming up in the corner here and we click in save, the asterisk is gonna go. See the asterisk one? So now if we read all the page now, what are we gonna see? Green alone, ready? Me too. Bam. Sir, the page press is green. Hmm? Come there with us. Press save and... Save. Save. Yeah, because you already have it saved before, so you just want to save the, the changes. Uh, uh, we add an X zero form. You cannot get the gender instructions. We save the content changes to five by zero. Unit. 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 What's up here? Okay, you missed the style. You missed the style. That's what happened. Yeah, you missed the style. 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 You missed the Oh, yes, and uh, All right, so that's very good. So just to see the shit at the All right, so everybody should have green on the screen. Bam, bam, bam. Everybody should have green on the screen. You, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't have follow us on the board? What did we see on the board? You changed the? Right, so we were saying that why did you close this thing? What happened? Where is it? Why does why this appear? So yeah, this appear is really a headache. This is one of the most easy to go around that scene. I said, so we want green and blue, right? So the blue, the blue we have there, we deleted it and we put in zero for the blue. See it? Then we're going to save it now and we're going to reload it so we get green. See it? So all we do is make it change is here. This is green now. This is green. Right? So, He's on YouTube. Yeah, he, no, he, he could be on YouTube. He doesn't finish the exercise. Finish. Only those who finish the exercise could. So I finish the exercise. Yes. So this is fresh. It's for cookies. Only. Yes, the little sweet cookies. There you want to have it. So is this for school girls? Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't have a door in school. So, 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 so we can have a toy in school. No, only none. So I did. I have accent. 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 I have accent
Especially you in the corner. Right? Look at what we're doing. We are taking off this 255. We're deleting it. Backspace, backspace, backspace. And we're putting zero in that position. So now we say we, we don't need any green. We don't need no blue. We want to make this screen red. So in the red position, which is the first zero, we delete in that and we put in 255 in that position. Everybody's supposed to do that. I don't know. And then what's the other one? The same. Mm -hmm. And then the same. Sir. Yeah. Sir. So it's the first position. Sir. Very good. This is good. Save it. Zero. Zero. I got it. Zero. Zero. I got it. Zero. I got it. Zero. 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 Wow. Very good. Very good. Let me see a red. 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 All right, guys, you're going to get yellow now. Who remember what two colors do we have to mix to get yellow? Um, green. No, blue, I mean, blue, blue. red and something. Blue, blue. Right. Am I right? Orange. All right, so we're going to try that, right? The red is the first position and the green is the second position. So we're going to put this second zero to 255. You all ready? We're going to put this second zero here now to 255. We're going to save it and we're going we're gonna to reload the page now. Let's see if we get yellow. Bam! So I get it. Yeah, everyone is getting yellow. I can't buy the yellow. Everyone is getting yellow. No, no. Oh, did you? That's what it's called. Oh. Oh. I knew it was red and blue. I knew it was red and blue. Damn. It's red and green. It's red and green. I don't know. How about? Right, the first, the first, the first one. In equal proportion. Anybody? Yes, I get I don't know. 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 I do Red and blue. Well, we did red. So we could do red. We did green. We had the blue. We had to mix these two colors, and we had to mix these these other two colors. So we had to get the um. Remember, we mix the the original one was green and blue. We mix. Now we mix in red and green. Yes. So it's now we had to mix the other two across here, red and blue. So here we had to put a zero, guys. Watch red. We put in a zero here. Right? We delete the 255, put a zero here. 
And in the last position that represents the blue, we put in a 255. Five. Check it out. Yeah? So 255, zero, 255, right? Then we save in that, and we're reloading this screen on this side. Get. Bam. We get the magenta. Oh, yeah. Everybody get the magenta? Yes, Everything? Everybody get the magenta? Yes, sir. The magenta. Yeah? All right? Now, you could mix them all the variations in between. So let's say we want to light, we want to light up this, this magenta we have here, right? Or we could put in some green in it if we want. So let's put 100 in the green, right? Let me see who could come up with the coolest color. So I just put 100 green. On top of the magenta. Let's see what happens. Look at that. It started light now. Do you see it? Yeah. So I'm going to put 150 now instead. Right? And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens to the magenta. The magenta was lightning. Let's see if we can lighten it up further. Ready? Look at that. You see it light now? Yeah? And you all could combine it. Combine it to make. You all combine it to make. Right? The best possible color. To suit your preference. All right? The best possible color to suit your preference. All right? Now, everybody, gonna write the name in the center of the screen here. Yeah. Right? Everybody gonna write the name. Everybody gonna write something about themselves. Yeah? Everybody write something about themselves. That'd be cool. Okay? So you can just put the table up. What do you think? The one that's showing the code. Yeah, see? Okay, yes. So, I, I do not have a I don't have a phone. Well, I have a phone well, well, on my desk. We, we could write the name on phone. Eh? I can write my name. But... Yeah, without without using ASCII. Because we can use the P-Tag. Let's have to write high physical. Will you? Oh. All right? We can use the P-Tag and do the same. Right? So you already check me out. Right? You all follow what I'm going to be doing. So here I have this P-Tag saying high physics color wheel. Right? Okay? I am going to add into this body now a H1. You all ready? Watch me. Open, open the H1 tag, right? I'm going to create some space so that you all can see what I'm doing. This is where I'm working right now. All right? You all pay attention. I'm working right here. This is how I'm working. So I have to open the H1 tag like that, and then I immediately close the H1 tag like that. Open the H1 tag, and then immediately close the H1 tag like that. <laughs> oh my so god. Mad. I was a new computer. Because I was getting a new computer and it will be no more computer. Only games, videos. Only. Guys, we have an H1 yeah. tag, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'll check it out. That's nice. I'm gonna write. I already have that. My name is Mr. Now, you see it? Now, Mr. Lau, that's your name. Alright. Now. So guys, if we save it, right, and we reload on this side, what's going to happen? Look, my name is Mr. Lau. 
Look what we're gonna do now. We're gonna change the my name is Mr. Lau to a nice color. Right? Now that is the background we change us. So we're gonna change the text itself to a nice color, right? That we choose. Alright, guys, so to change the color of the text, we could consider the styles that we have on top here. And we could style all the H1 tags in the same way. Yeah? Guys, what's going on? Sir, this is the children here. I don't know. It's a thing like a Sir, mm -hmm. this is too cold. The AC is too cold? Yes, we're gonna move here on this side so that's something that must happen next class right because the ac is on the lowest possible setting right and here's many other people in the room who is not killing people that's what they can see like it that's what they can see we're gonna move up from exactly under the ac we're gonna put it on that side which is safe so no breeze, not directly blue. Right? I think we use so, so, yes, so, 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 yeah, next class when, when we get away from the AC. Right? So, so she'll be back. So, 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 I'll be sitting back home. What? Big man, I will sit away, she'll sit up here. Here? Yes, here. And you will go here, and he will come back here. No, yeah, because this is second class, she complained that the AC was only actually the same. So, wait, so that's the scenario, right? Huh? That's the trust, the scenario, right? I just guessed that. Yeah, it's a good scenario. Alright, so. so mm -hmm. That is the best example that I've right done. Mm -hmm. Which one? I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, so when I wrote the my name is, you can see it's in black, it's ID port, right? But that's just an example. Yeah, that's just an example. You have to write it down. Hmm? Yes, no, guys. Just, just, just. Just, just. Just, just. Just, just. Just, All right, so everybody would have done this, right? So you write your name, right? So here we have the H1, right? Just one line because we're going to write something, you know. We're going to write color. You all watching this? Color, we're using the same RGB. Okay? And I'm going to make it a really sweet color. Right? 0, 2, 32, 15. Right? That's my color that I'm doing there. Right? We're going to see what you all really going to be doing on your side. All right, so let's check it out. Look at that. Yeah, it's a kind of fancy kind of green. It's a kind of fill it out behind the, the, um, the purple. Now, you all have to right, combine the red, the green, and the blue component in different proportions. All right? In different proportions so that you all get a color right, of your preference. All right? Yeah. 
No, no, stop doing that. Yeah. You can have stuff for Guys, I am in a big shower, a big a big stuff for that. No one wants to do each other for that. All right, so this programming language that you're learning, guys, is HTML, okay? Now, we're using HTML so that you guys can appreciate the physics color wheel, okay? We good? All right, so you are supposed to be writing this thing that we have here, right? Huh? So that's so that's this 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 baby. I don't know what she do it So I'm slowly getting corrupted by this girl thinking. So my cat. She said I had two. So my cat died. This morning? No. This morning? My cat died. No, why did I do that? This morning. Here? No. She just uh, said it and died as well. Oh. Let me tell you this story. No, hey, it's okay. No, please. No. No. Don't do Um. Hey, what's up? Yes. Um. Is it Um. No. So is that. means you're lying. Huh? You're being, you're being watched. <laughs> All right, so everybody successful. I, I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna see what fancy color, right? That you combine the red, green, and blue in different proportions to give, right? Whatever color of your preference. I'm coming around to see now. So I need to put my name in green. You need to All right. You are still working. Very good. Right? Huh? Like I even put my own favorite at this So I'm going to give you all five moments, right? We're going to move on. We have a lot of important things here. What? I need to flash me. If I can't. No, no, no. This is This is smart. 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 You call her your name? No. All right. So, start with your first whistle. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. I'm not the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. See, it's no first, second, fifth. Hey, it's a nice little. It's like a. This is really nice. That's really cool. Ah, uh, what are you using? Wow. 
150. You'll check this out. Check out this color, guys. It's like a darker variant of the background. Right? So I can't even do it because it's getting shot. I'm not That's a good destiny. Is it? You can't see it? No, I can't. It's dark. No, sir. I can't even do my idea because it's getting shot. It's getting shot. It's getting shot. appreciate a lot and we're going back to right what we started with right all right so this is where we stopped off right so you appreciate this everybody appreciate this right yes, and when you mix green and red in equal portions again yellow when you mix green and blue equal portions in sand, and when you mix red and blue equal portions, all right. Moving forward. So this is what we just did. We use HTML to explore the physics color wheel, right? Now we didn't do any alignment of the H1 tag and so on and so forth, right? And we didn't do the um ASCII, right? The HTML for ASCII. We didn't do that, right? We, I kind of cut the, the exercise a little shorter so that we could have done it quickly. All right? So we're moving on, guys. Check what I have on the board. I have generations of programming languages. Language. Programming language. So, you remember when the computers was as big as a whole room? Yes, sir. They had to code in ones and zeros like this. They had vacuum tubes and punch cards, right? Univac and Univac and all these different names, those computers had those names, right? So the language that they had to code it before was ones and zeros. So the programmer, 
Remember that if you're in senior, yes, I can see. Oh, I will record it. Are you all playing game instead of this? I have to play in game. All right, so guys, right? Machine language, they had to code like this. Can you imagine you have to remember 0011000111100011 to code this computer? Yeah, you have to remember all these different things because. These combination of ones and zeros mean meant something. Are you watching this? Yeah. And then here, they they realize this this way of doing it is really hard, right? See so you know what they do? They improve it, and we get second generation of programming language called assembly. So this this begin to look English like. Take a look at it. it looks English like. Maybe I'll have begin pause. We're gonna be moving information, right? You can see move again, you can see pause. We're gonna add things like R the same there. Right? You see end, so begin end. You want to say that? Yes. And so on. But this then, what whatever is on this side breaks down to what we see on the right hand side. Yeah? And then that even breaks down further to ones and zeros. So that is the difference between the first and second generation programming language. But this one still not exactly English. Right? So we still can do some improvements on that. And that's exactly what they did. They further improve it. When we get two generation languages that resemble exactly how we write English to each other. Right? How you write English in the English class. Yeah? So take a look at it. We call them high level programming languages because we can write code in the way we speak to each other. Right? Which is machine independent language. When we write it like this, right? We don't write no ones and zeros. We don't write no begin and pause and move and add as we saw, right? Associated with the assembly language as well, right? So let's take a look at it. So we say we're opening uh, a file called access MVD, right? And we're opening also alongside that. And then we have a loop. And you can see it says that it's saying that we're printing, right? Some sort of name on average from, from the from the table of results. And you can see it says end. Yeah? Then we have next. And this is visual basic third generation programming language. You all seeing that? Then we will improve it. And you say, hey, it's good, right? But we need to do more things. And that's how. We came up with the fourth generation, right? Programming language, which are considered to be non procedural. So, for instance, we have SQL, right? It's a fourth generation language, MATLAB, right? So, when you all get to you go see, you're going to be using some of these tools, right? So, notice the fourth generation programming languages, they focus on databases, report generation, and website development. There's many examples at the bottom. SQL, Focus, MATLAB, Accelerator, LabVIEW, etc. What we're going to be doing today is third generation programming language. It's called high level programming language, which is similar to how we would speak to each other. Right? You're doing third generation programming with fourth generation computers? Correct. Very much so. <laughs> so look at this, guys. Look at the examples. Right? We have BASIC, COBOL, Fortran, Java. Pascal, C, C, Perl, Python. There's many other examples. We're going to be taking a look at Pascal first. All right, that's what we're going to be doing today. All right? So, writing your first program with Pascal. Everybody, you're going to write your first program with Pascal. What? Today, today, we're going to do that. You all ready? Oh, no. So, we have what is called constructs, right, in the programming language. So you see this program here? When you write a line with this word program, right? That's a construct. That construct says what we're gonna what, what is the name of the program, right? The title of the program, the name of it essentially. High word. That's gonna be the name of our program. And you see this construct begin? It symbolizes when we write in the actual code. When the code is starting. And you see this next one, end, pulls up. Symbolizes where we end writing all the code, right? 
And then in between, you know, take, take for instance this one, right line. This is a construct so that we could print anything we want on the screen. And what we want to put on the screen, we want to say, hello world, welcome to programming. And then we want to do a read line. So this one here is an empty read line, which is necessary so that the program doesn't close immediately. It, uh, it waits for user input. It waits for us to touch your mouse or touch your keyboard before it closes down. Right? So this read line here, this is a way to allow the program to wait for user to interact with it before it does something else. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five lines we write in. And you all write your first program. This is, this is easier? Much easier than you all felt to go to bed, right? Yeah? That don't look easy, sir. You don't look easy? No, sir. Okay, then. Well, there's procedures that we must follow before we can get to that. There's procedures that we must follow. All right? Ready for the procedures? All right, so I'm going to exit. This one here. Right? I just exit it, guys. All right, let's see what happens from there. So we have that on this on the screen that we have before, right? So remember, all this is safe. You could, you could really just close all this here, right? So we're going to close all this now, guys. And that close button was looking weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I find the close button was looking weird, right? All right, so you also, I don't know which one of you all have, like, uh, Microsoft Edge. And all these other things. So this is what we're doing, guys. Everybody, open your web browser and follow my instructions. Ready? Everybody have Chrome? Yeah. Or who don't have Chrome, you can open Microsoft. Microsoft Edge. 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 Right? And what we're doing? We, we're going to. We're going to Google. Dot com. Everybody, oh, everybody go to Google. Dot com. I was ahead of this stuff. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Someone, somebody. I have to guess. Everybody go to Google. Dot com. Everybody there? Yes. Nice. That's what we talking about. Wow, sir. All right. So once we type that, we press the enter key, and it takes us. You can see this loading thing happens, and it takes us to Google. So right here now, in this search location, look how we type in. Ready? We're gonna type D E V, which means Dev. The word Dev is short for development. So you all are gonna become programmers. So you all have to be familiar with the jargons, which is the terms, those words, which is used to describe, right? Very important aspects, right? Of being a programmer, right? Dev is short for development, right? You all maybe see this before in some other way, form or fashion. So we type dev and watch it, P-A-S, Pascal. P-A-S-C-A-L, dev Pascal. Everybody type that. All right. So the latest variant of Dev Pascal is the 1.9.2. That's the latest variant. So you can kind of, you always see these things coming up, right? Eh? Yes. So what we're going to do, we're going to press enter to search Dev Pascal. And you can see this is the official website. Take, take a look at the official website. It's called www.bloodshed.net. Like I said, it's no. essentially Dev Pascal. Yes. All right? So I know you all will be paying attention to this is the first one, Bloodshed.net. This is the official repository for the various releases of Dev Pascal. So we're gonna click on it, guys. Let's click on this one. Everybody click on it. And you can see it says here latest version. And it was released for Windows 95, 98, MT 2000 and XP. All right? If we scroll down a little bit, everybody, you're going to see this thing says downloaded. Yes, sir. Everybody, you're going to see this little thing says downloaded. Yes, sir. Right? Huh? No. What did I click no. on? No. No. I click on the first one that says 
Web Pascal, Web C++, Professor Web Pascal. I click on it. And then we scroll down just a little bit. And you'll see the option to download it. Yes, everybody see the option. Yeah, okay. yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Alright, so everybody supposed to be here now. Yes, we're gonna click this thing and they're gonna see the download start. It's gonna start the download, it's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. So in this case, I save it on the desktop, right? So you all just go ahead and click save on the desktop, right? Everybody do that. Right? You're gonna see the download. Well, okay, let me download it on top here, right? I expected it to have been. Hmm? Everybody click it and download it, right? Now, in the, in the top right hand corner, we could see where it was downloaded and we could go to the folder right everybody here right so everybody take a look at it right it downloaded for you it downloaded already yeah very good so if i click open folder it's gonna take me to the folder that has this program, right? Take a look at it. Look at it. It says Deb Pascal. As the file. Deb Pascal 192.exe. Everybody's supposed to have it saved. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you see it on the Yeah. Is this what's up? No. Oh, my God. You're going to have it. So this woman has no self-control also. Huh? She has no what? Self-control. Alright, so everybody's supposed to be seeing it now. Are you ready? So what we're going to do, we're going to open it. Double click on it. Double click on it. It's going to open up. Right? You all double click on it. It's gonna open up, right? It's gonna, it's gonna show me something like that. Okay. Are you kidding me? And I'm gonna say yes. Just, just click yes to the, right? Windows account control thing that comes up. And uh, it, it's, it's gonna look like this now. This is what you're gonna see. Yes, sir. I see. So what you gotta do? You gotta click agree. You gotta click install. Everybody do that. Whoa! Matrix. Install. Don't be happy button. Yeah. Because you go in ahead. Yeah, it's, 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 and when you run into problems now, right? And you don't encourage you to go ahead of the class because of the different issues. Not that's it. There's steps that I am I'm going to do that you might not have done. Yeah. That's not what I say. I said we're going to install it. Right? And this is the step. The first step, we click agree. And the next step, right? You can see it's supposed to say C the Pascal folder. And we click install. You will see the installation process is happening, right? That's the installation process there. And when it is done, it's going to say completed on top. You can then close that little option right here. So let's close that little option. Yeah? So you all would have installed the Pascal and you are ready to write the first code. Everybody here is ready to write the first code. 
the first program, essentially. Right? In, in their pastor. So when they did that, right? It would open up. Okay? It would open up. She thinks what? All right, guys. So, guys, I don't know. This 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 Zoom thing is just giving me all kind of problems. So when you all open the program, right? It's gonna look like this. Everybody, when you all open the program, it's gonna look like this. Also, also press okay. Huh? Okay. Press, look, 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 look. press okay. Yeah. So you, you just click the close button, yeah. and after you click the close button, that's okay. what's gonna happen. It's gonna. This is gonna come. No, it's not gonna come. Up. Everybody. Who? It didn't come up. Well, I got to, I got to. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Close this. Everybody could close the browser, right? Close the browser. We don't need the browser again. Close the browser. All right. So we were here. Just now. So we had to write our first program, right? But we can't just write the program like that. We need what is called a integrated development environment which is a program that allows us to implement right the code all right and compile it and produce an executable that we can actually right run that program on the computer so that is in their parcel that we just downloaded right yeah we just downloaded exactly what we need to implement our first program in pascal all right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna escape that. I'm gonna bring back up the Pascal on the screen, right? So you're all supposed to have a window that looks something similar to this. Everybody, could click file. Yeah. Everybody, click file, and then you're gonna go to a new project. Yeah, I don't think this thing is exactly set. So I'm gonna try to set it up. No, down, down. Go back and file and come down. Right. So in the top left hand corner, if you click the file option in the top left hand corner, you'll see new project. Yes, sir. Everybody see that? Come on. You want to go on or you want to stay Yes. You don't roll it twice. Oh. You didn't get that touch from water. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Everybody is getting solid and going ahead, right? Uh -huh. You're going back to class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, I think Jaden. Jaden? Nothing. Not in this class. Jaden? Not in this class? He is. I think he was sitting. I can't. 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 I 
All right, so everybody, when you know it's on the program, you're going to see some fancy now. stuff That's okay. coming up on the screen. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You like to be saying okay. 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 Everybody just press it okay. Very nice. All the options pressing okay. Very nice. And you're gonna get to the top right hand corner of the screen. Alright? The top right hand corner of the screen. Notice. Uh -huh. You see the file. And we're gonna go to new project. Alright? Yes. No, leave it. So in this case, I am I am now open a new project, right? Yeah guys, you all seen that? So when I open a new project, I'm going to get an option on my screen. Right? And the option kind of looks like this. Everybody should be here now. It says project. And we want to go all the way over here to empty project. Everybody go to empty project. Select empty project. Then click OK. You all ready? Empty project. Go navigate. Click the highlight the empty project option. And then click OK. Then we're gonna give the project a name, right? We're gonna call it Kids Kids Computer Camp Kids Computer Camp 2023. Everybody type. Why don't we just type it like this the initials are that and then the type in like project? No, everybody type type it up, type up what it is. Right. Kids Computer Camp 2023. Right? Everybody should have that. Everybody have that? Let's go. Add the drum. Yes, sir. Yes. Hmm? Yes. You in trouble? <laughs> yeah, you know, you had a type. So, you need? Yeah, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Press it. And delete it then. No. You press it. You can it. Delete, delete, delete. What did I do? Delete everything. Continue deleting. Why? Continue. Right. I know you're gonna type now. Kids, K I. No. You press K I. There's nothing. There's nothing to do anything. Yes. Space bar. Space bar. Space bar. Just take it back. Right. Sum up. Kids computer. C O M. C O M. P U T E R T E R space bar top C A L P still bar again. Come on. Space bar again. 2022. So you can know, put on top here now. You know, two, two, zero, two. Three. That's it. Right? Wait, calm wrong. Calm wrong. Wait, don't, don't do that. All right, so now you click OK. Everybody, go ahead and click OK. Right. And I'm going to give you the, the rest of the instructions from there, right? Okay. Ready? So watch me. Watch me. Everybody, when you click OK, it's going to come up now asking you where you want to save that project. Yes, All right, so I'm going to show you what it looks like on my side. Might not be the same thing for you guys. Check out what it looks like on my side because I have other projects before. Right? So, here what you're doing, right? What do you, you need to do for me? You need to click this icon, this little thing here. Click on it. Right? And then you're going to local disk, everybody. Right? Click on that little, click on this little drop down arrow. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it. Everybody click on this little drop down thing, like that. Click on it, right? When you click on it, everybody click on it. Yes. Yeah. Then you're going to local disk C. What? Local disk C. Local disk C. C. And you're going to see a dev Pascal folder. You're going to see a dev Pascal folder, guys. When we go inside of there, we're going to go to icons. So, Let's go to icons. Oh, oh, oh. Right? And then we can save oh. it here. We can save it here. There's a specific reason why. So I'm not even seeing this. Yeah, I'm not even seeing this. I'm not seeing it. 
Oh, there's no dead feet. Alright, guys. Okay. So when we see it, when we can see it. Right? What's gonna happen now? We're gonna get this blank screen here. It's an untitled. That's what we're gonna get. But we're not ready as yet. We're not ready to work magic here. Uh, you running out of time, guys. You run out of time, so what happened? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's this is where the magic happens. You all ready? Yes. Check it, guys. Right? So remember, when we write in our first program, right? For sure, you're going to remember this. Right? What, what do we need? We need we need the construct program in all caps. The construct begin. The construct write line, read line. And end. That's all we need. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five lines. And we would have write our first program. Yeah? So, guys, let's go back to it. You all ready? So, what we need here? Check it out. What we need here? What we need here? That's it. That's it. That's it. Everybody's supposed to be seeing this screen that I'm seeing on my side. It's a Right? Guys, guys, the reason why you are not seeing what I'm seeing is because your box are a little smaller than my box, right? So y'all ready? What we need? Program P R O G A M. Everybody type program at the, at the, at the beginning, right? Program like that. Should be at the beginning. So let's press it, hit the backspace button until it moves all the way to the end. Hit the backspace button until it moves all the way to the beginning, right? And we type program like that. Yeah? You can put it in all caps if you want. Right? And this is how we get to name the program now. The, it's going to be called first program. This is our first program that we write in. Right? Once we're done, we have to put a semicolon like that. Then, here we write begin in all caps, and every begin must have an end. So this here we write end, full stop. You see that? Every begin must have an end. So between the beginning and the end is where we're going to write our code now. You all ready? Write line. Everybody follow me? Write line, guys, and we open a bracket, and we write hello, You write hello. Hello world. All right. Hello world. And we want to say something. Welcome to programming. That's what we want to do. Yeah. And then we want to close the bracket, guys, and we will put that semicolon at the end. And then we 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 gotta click enter to put an empty read line, just an empty read line, just like that. And that's it. That's all we need. This is all we need. We have written our first program. Sir, there's no one. This is not feature. What's up? I'm guessing to you. You're not typing. I don't know. Why you doing you can put it. So program, fill the space back. It's not. All right, and then the other one says, it says, first program. I don't know. I can't see what I'm blind. I'm blind. Yeah. So this is very. 
So we had to finish up, right? Check it out, guys. Check it out. Program, right? You all could have written this program in all caps if you wish, right? After we write program, we have what? We give it a name. Notice, there's no empty space here. No empty space. We can't put an empty space there. So what I put is called a underscore. Underscore. To get the underscore, you're holding the shift button and you're pressing the negative side. Right? Which is. Right, let me see what is it. What's going on? Oh gosh. So you press on what, what, what do you want? What? You see, I can't like a lot of Sit down. You're supposed to see that. What? She's what? supposed to see that until she gets my hands on. Me? What? Alright, alright, hey. What did you do, Mr. So I said this woman like yeah, you know. she's something else. Ow. No, get the water. No, get the water. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think I want to be cool. Yeah. I want to be cool. Alright, so everybody's supposed to have exactly what we have on the morning. A little tedious, right? So here, what are we doing? Here, what are we doing, right? We gotta save this. We have to save this file. How do you save this? Press C T R L button, the control button, and the S button. Control S. Everybody, press Control S. Control S. And we we gonna we gonna name it, right? First program. Program, right? First program, and should don't change the dot ps right? It's an important <laughs> extension. All right, name it first program, right? And remember, it must be in icons folder, right? And click save. After that is done, right? We need to go to options on top here, right? You will see it on top. There's a tab says project. So we're gonna go down, guys. We're gonna go down to project options. Project options, and yeah, you can see what's happening, right? We missing icon, so you want to load an icon. We could click the load icon button and select the book because 
you are learning in class, right? Select the book just like that. So when you select the book, huh? the PA is supposed to be at the end. Right? You, you didn't need to put that. I right? just do not disturb it. All right, so when you select the book option, you click OK. Right? Everybody do that? Everybody select the book option? Right? You go into project, go down to project options, and then yes, load icon and select the book. Select the book here. <coughs> right? And click open. Then click OK. And we're ready for the magic now. Ready for the magic? You see this button here? Compile project. So when you click that button, right? It's supposed to compile. Look at compile here. It compiles and it says there's no errors. There's zero errors. And this is the size of the executable file. And we can execute the file now. Ready? Execute. Look what happened, guys. I right, didn't come up on the next screen. I'm just gonna pull it across for you, right? Check it out. This is what happens. Hello world, welcome to programming. Right? So notice, notice guys, it stays like that. When I provide input, if I press the keyboard, right? Check it out. I can press the keyboard. If I press enter, it closed down. You see it? Right? So that was the M, that was the function of the empty resize. I'm gonna go around. Uh, right, so this is first Charlie Brown. Right? The, yes. She has gone. Total. Oh, yeah, you go to project, oh, and then you go to project oh, options, and then you load icon and just select the book. As always, it's not. Select the book here. So, right, this is educational stuff. Okay, once done, you will select this option here to compile. Voila, zero errors that you can execute. Voila, leave it here. Excuse me, sir. Can we, sir? Yeah, just. I didn't help, bro. Relax yourself. Program up, please. Program. No, program up. Don't do that, guys. Do that, guys. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, just so we get a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna finish. That's all right. What's the next? Sorry, I'm not gonna finish. Oh, we gotta finish. I'm not gonna. I didn't dismiss you all yet. What? Oh, you didn't miss a Hmm? Alright, so he selected a few already. And I tried this to you. Yeah, and then execute. Okay. Yes. Right, so everybody's supposed to have that on the street. So I'm gonna execute. I'm gonna execute mine again, guys. All right, check it out. I'm gonna execute mine again, right? And this is what mine looks like. Okay, guys. Now notice. If you press enter, guys. You all wanna go on a late lunch today? No. If you all press enter, it's gonna close. That is the function of the empty read line. Okay? You remember that? You remember that? When we talk about putting the empty read line there, this empty read line. So this is the structure of our first program, right? Where we could use the program construct to give it a title, the begin and the end, and we write line to put this on the screen, to put that output on the screen. And we have an empty read line so that the program could wait for our input. Before it close. All right? You all seeing that? Yeah? So, guys, hear what? You all now going to make a little change from it, right? Everybody going to make a little update to the program. Ready? So, here we want to do now. Right? Remember, the empty read line must be the last thing. Empty read line must be the last thing. So, uh, on top here, we're going to do our next right line. Ready? Right line, right? We're going we're gonna to put, my name is Mr... Now, look at that. You are going to put your name, right? Yeah? So that is what I did to mine. My name is Mr. Lau. All right? So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to execute. I'll take a look at what happens, right? This is what comes up. Look at that. Hello, world. Welcome to programming. My name is Mr. Lau. So I'm gonna move this to the side, right? So that, so that you all could see what I did when I changed my program. I just put the yeah, that's what I did, right? I'm gonna go back down here and select this, right? So that is what I did. That is the change that I made. Right? So, so you are gonna yeah, what is supposed to do is to do on the bottom. Right? So hold on. Right. 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 Now we're gonna say, press this button here together. My name is, and write your name for me. That's it. Write my name. My M Y space bar. My space bar. Name N E N E M E. Right. My name is I S I S. I spell it in Spell it. 
No, 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 you don't want to process. What process do you want? You just click in the, the, um, the, the green up. Yes. Stick, yeah. I know you. Sir? Yeah, execute. Execute, yeah. Yes, it's right. So you need to close the quotation marks. Then you need to polish your button. Then close the, the racket. Ah, so and then you need to press now. You say, yeah, you need to. Look at that. And that's all you need to do in the video. Right? So when you Does it also type compile again, and then you execute, you're going to see your name come up. And name is this. So you can also type here. <clears throat> oh no, that's why it's like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so, like, no, she touched it. Sure. This whole thing is actually. Sure. Sure. Very good. But you, so you can also type here too. You could if you want. You want to point it now, is I can type that. Hit that, I'm going to close the program. Hit that, Right? All right. So, guys, right, that is your first oh, program. So right? First program. Okay? You are officially dismissed, right? Make sure this is safe. You are going to come back and you're going to use the same computer tomorrow. Right? And we're going to continue from here. And you're going to see just, just, just that even the calculator, you all can write a calculator app. You all can write a program to be calculating things you want. So we'll do a little math. Right, but we're gonna write a you program to do the math again. for us. Right? So we need to, we don't need to know how to do all that math again you know, because you could write a program to do the math for us, right? So that's what we're gonna be coming and continuing next class. Right? You all have a wonderful, pleasant rest of the day. Right? When you all go home, I encourage you all to try and practice it, right? I don't have to get us home. Yeah. It's the same already, no, it's the same already, it's the same already. Oh, so you get us? Yeah, all right? So, you all are dismissed for lunch, guys. It's all right. 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 I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't have anything to eat. 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 I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the beginning. I'm going back. Yes, I'm going to try to get back. I see.